Thank you. And now, vision. I'm doing this class because I think it's the thing that I find most natural and I found very, very easy when it came to starting my business. So, what is a vision? Always good to start with the dictionary definition, right? It's the easiest place if you're stuck, an easy place to put something within a framework. This is what dictionary.com says. The ability to think or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. So a mental image of what the future will or could be like. I feel like that is a fair and standard um, definition of what vision is. But the next one, which I preferred, was a bit the experience of seeing someone in a dream or a trance as a supernatural apparition. I much prefer this definition of vision, particularly the terms illusion, hallucination, <laughs> and a fanciful one of the future. And the reason I say that is because it should be completely audacious. It should be hallucinationary, if that's a word. And it should be something that seems so far out that you're like, I could, you know, you want people to be like, she could never do that. You've said that, she could never do that. So I much prefer that. The point of a vision is what is the total impact you could have in the marketplace? So not just a vision of, I, I'm going to do this and it's going to be like that. It's like, no, I'm going to go for absolute total domination. My favourite vision statement was the Billion Dollar Shave Club, whose statement was... Total domination of the men's consumable um, toiletry market. Not just like we're going to start a subscription razor company. Total domination. And that's how audacious it should be. Whatever you're thinking, think of it times ten. What is a vision statement? It's a short, meaningful statement of intent. So what you guys all have right now, right, is like a bunch of ideas. You've got loads of ideas. You've probably got something close to a business plan or a pitch deck. But either way, it's a heavy, word-heavy document that we want to distill down into a single statement. Um, the problem is with having, like, when you're starting your business, is you just have so many ideas of what it could be and where you want to take it. And it's really hard to be able to communicate that vision. So, a vision statement is a short, meaningful statement of intent. I am going to, we will enable, we are. Why is vision important? Because people want to believe in brands that are authentic, meaningful and purposeful. Like, you guys know what it's like. There are plenty of times when you've seen a brand or even a person. You've sometimes seen a person and you're like, mm, I can't figure that person out. I don't know what she's about. I don't know what they're about. What is that brand trying to do? So you're not focused on making a complete decision for being involved and loyal to that brand. You want something that is authentic. You want something that has meaning because no one wants to just dilly-dally through life with no goals. And you want something that has purpose. And I think that this is why WA has been successful as a brand more so than a business is because people really latched on to what it was about. You want to get people excited about the vision first and then the product. So when you're talking about what it is you're doing, you don't want to start telling them, so I'm building this app and it does this, that and the other, and actually these are the three features, or I've got this um, you know, food product and it's like low GI and all of this. What you want to do is set them the vision. My vision is I want people to be able to eat healthy snacks while they're on the go. My vision is, is I want people to use technology to com connect with each other or communicate in a way. When you sell them the vision, it's really easy to sell them the product. You might change your product, service or business, but you shouldn't change your vision. So, like I said, the vision first and then the products come down. So, for me, personally... Think about I'm opening a nail salon versus I'm going to connect creative women and give them a safe place, place space to discuss their ideas. So when I started WAR, um, I was telling everyone, I'm opening a nail salon. I'm opening a nail salon. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be the coolest nail salon ever. I'm opening a nail salon. And actually, this guy um, who's the head of communications at Nike said to me recently, I remember when you came into Nike and was like, I'm opening a nail salon. And I thought it was just going to be a nail salon on Brixton High Street that all your like, mates were going to go to. 
And he was like, I had no idea about your vision for it, where I was always clear on the vision, but I wasn't very clear at communicating that vision. So think about this, like, what, what are you doing as an actual thing, like I'm opening an house on versus, I'm going to connect creative women and give them a safe space to discuss their ideas. Like how much more impactful does that sound? Which one do you want to be part of? Like this one or this one? You all want to be part of this one, right? The second one down. So your vision comes first. Always think about that, communicate that, and then turn it into your product because your vision could be product, it could be product version two, or your vision could be then turn into a service, but as long as your vision remains the same, there are so many ways of executing that vision. So to go back to my example of a safe space to allow creative women to communicate their ideas, this was the first Wazine. So I made this in 2005 while I was still at university, and the reason I did it was because I felt like women in street culture and hip hop didn't have a place to connect because it was the time of 50 Cent, there were so many like video booty girls on TV and I actually felt personally um, confused about who I was and who I ought to be. I was like, do I need to go into a club being sexy? Do I need to like wear boy clothes? I, from a being 21 and like having all of these dilemmas in my head, I poured it out into this and I spent two months in my bedroom literally like working on this by myself and that's how I taught myself to use InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator. I gave myself this project. This was like the second issue which was me and all my friends putting our nails and rings out and this was a free gift that I gave with issue two. So I gave, um, I bought off eBay a money print bandana, some stick on nails and I was like tools of the trade, this is how you be a wire girl. So the thing is, is this is a safe space for women to communicate, right? Like, and connect together. I started to collect these girls from all over the world who are like, we're wild girls. And then the second iteration of that vision became a nail salon because I was like, I've collected all these girls online. How can I bring them together physically? So I opened this nail salon. Can you believe that this is the first one? It's so dead. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so messy. I'm like, ah! But it's just an execution of a vision. Do you understand what I mean? If I, if I said, I'm going to create a safe space for women to connect, create creative women to connect, it could be anything. It could be an app. It could be a monthly party. It could be a fanzine. It could be an L salon. So that's what's important. Then I try to keep that vision through even when I made the product. I found it really difficult with product to bring that vision through because obviously... It's just a product, it's just a nail polish, right? How can I make sure that anyone who picks up this nail polish gets a feeling of my vision that this is about connecting women? So I made boots put on the back of every single product, this phrase, downtown girls worldwide. Every single product I ever make has this phrase on it because even if you don't know what war is, you kind of get a feeling that there's something different going on. And then the final iteration is what I'm doing now. This is just me showing off because I'm about to open now, so on. Is the latest iteration of that vision is uh, a new salon in Soho. Again, a place where women can come. I could have, this salon is over two floors and I could have packed those floors out with nail desks to make loads of money. But this floor, the ground floor, is featuring other independent beauty brands. So again, it's women who have come to me and said, I've got this product, or I've made this product, I'm inspired by what, and we're actually going to sell their product in Soho. So again, it's just another safe space for women to come and feel connected creatively into each other. The vision should be clear, impactful, and meaningful. It should be big, hairy, and audacious, which is a phrase that two guys coined in a book to say that your goal, like I said, should be 10 times bigger than what you're thinking. Okay, who is this vision for? Employees. Yay! <laughs> so, it's really funny, because you're all thinking of your visions in your head, right? Like, while I'm talking, like, what's my vision? What's my vision? What's my vision? Because I really want to sell my products. I really want to get my customers on board. But actually, the first people who need to believe in your vision is your staff. If you're starting a company, hiring staff is, like, your number one focus. It's something I left till really late, and I full-on regret it that I didn't take my time to invest in really amazing high-level staff. Employees believe in visions. We live in London, or if you're from a, uh, 
like outside of London. It's still a very competitive market. Also, if any of you've worked in, done trend research for millennial generations, millennials will work wherever they want. They'll do what they want. They'll shop where they want. They're like, I don't care if like, I've got to pay the bills. I hate this job. I'm not doing it. You have to get people inspired to want to join your company. So your vision statement first starts with your employees. Then obviously your customers, so we've talked about this, the fact that your customers should believe in your vision, no matter what you put out, they will buy it because of the vision, not because you've just met, released a new product. You should be, whatever you do, I want to be part of it. It doesn't matter what the um, execution is, I want to be part of this brand. And finally, investors, <laughs> well not finally, I love this picture. Um, funding, is probably going to be part of the process of your business journey for a lot of you in this room. And you hear a lot when you read about fundraising that investors invest in teams and they invest in ideas. They definitely invest in vision. They invest in passion and vision for the thing that you're trying to, ch to change and the thing you're trying to achieve. But importantly, is for yourself. Once you do your vision today, you'll have it stuck on a piece of paper and we'll turn it into an Instagram post for you so that every single day you should stick it in your office, you should stick it in your bedroom, you should stick it in your bathroom where you're brushing your teeth because every single day you'll be motivated by what you want to achieve. How do I break down my entire business plan to a single sentence? It's really hard, right? But it's possible. So I kind of did this little thing um, because I found that when I was doing it, this is how it got broken down to. It was you. So you can be physically, like you individually, it can be you, your business, or we, or whoever it is that is gonna be offering what it is. Plus the verb, what, what are you gonna do? Like, are you gonna enable? Are you gonna facilitate? Are you gonna connect? Are you gonna drive? Think of all these words that are really active, like active words that show that you're gonna do something. Who are you doing it for? So who is the customer, what is it they want, and how are you going to like address them? But what is the market? So what is the overall place that you are going to change your vision? And how are you going to change it? So what is the outcome that you're going to do? And that, to me, is how you get to your vision.